Welcome to Fitzy's Fabulous Scrapbooks. I'm Michelle Fitzgerald, aka Fitzy, and I'm an independent advisor for Creative Memories Scrapbooking, and I'm here to help you make your scrapbooks fabulous. So happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. So if there's a special dad in your life, I hope he's having a great day. Uh, my husband is at a Red Sox game with our sons and my brother and my nephew. So they're having a wonderful day. <laughs> and I'm at home. <laughs> Scrapping. How fun. Um, so today, because they will be coming home shortly, I want to show you, um, it's not a technique, it's an organizing tip. And I'm going to show you my two go-to products um, that help me immensely. And since I've started using them, I feel like the mess I make isn't quite as bad as it used to be. <laughs> so this is um, to help you with, you know, as you're going along, you need to find things quickly or it holds you up when you're doing all your creating, right? So this is going to help you find those little things that get lost. How many times have you scrapped and you said, I lost this, I lost my multi-purpose tool, or I lost my circle, my small circle pattern, whatever it is, this is going to help, in my opinion, it's helped me a lot. So I figure if it's helped me, it might help somebody else out there. All right, so let me just get to my overhead camera because I think that will help with this a little better. And I just have to get into the right screen here. Here we go. Ah, okay. So these are my two go-to products and I'm gonna show you how I use them, all right? So the first thing is this small flex um, pod. <laughs> Gotta get the words right. So, I mean, this is a really simple thing, um, but when I'm creating here, like uh, when I do my videos, I have my little pod in front of me off camera, so you can't see it, but it's literally right beyond where the camera is. And I keep it open like so. And it has all of my custom cutting system patterns, my little uh, corner rounder, and the three blades that go with the patterns. This makes it quick, easy, and simple for me to find these tools when I need them in a hurry. All right. And again, I keep it all in front of me or to the side of me so I can easily access it when I need it. All right. So this is my first go-to. And I think it's only about $12 or $13, but it's worth its weight in gold. I love this little container. And there's a lot of other things you could put in it too. I have another one that has just strictly tape runner refills in it. Um, now, I buy a lot of tape runner refills <laughs> because I also sell them, um, but I think you could still store quite a few in here, even if you're just scrapping for yourself and you're not an advisor and selling to other people. I think this is a great way, and you could keep a couple of your tape runner, um, your actual runner cartridges here as well, so uh, cases rather, so I just think that this is a great little product to have handy and will help keep your, your surface here clean and organized, all right? So this is my first, oops, let me close that up and put it in its place. All right, now, this for me is the real game changer and I'm trying to get it away from, I have overhead recess lighting here and it, I think it messes things up every so often. So <clears throat> this is the photo, I think it's the photo storage box. I think that's what it's called. But I love this. If there's one organizational tool that I could recommend that to me is a game changer, and 
I, I got to be honest, Creative Memories has a lot of organizational products that have made my life a lot easier. But the newest one that I love is this box. All right. Now, it holds five by seven containers. It comes with six of these five by seven containers. So you can put up to a hundred four by six or five by seven sized photos in each one of these cases. So you can hold up to 600 photos. Um, but I actually like to keep my photos in my power sort box. So I don't use this for my photos. I use it for all that little nitpicky stuff that just seems to get in my way or I can't find it. And now I know exactly where to look for things. So since this came out, the number one thing I did with it was put all of my foam squares, um, let's see, the photo corners and the uh, foam tape and the tape chips. I keep all, all of that in one of these containers. It holds a lot. Um, and it's so easy for me to get at it and access it. And I'll show you what I do after um, that really makes a difference. So that's one, what I do with one container. The next container has all of my um, dual tip pens. So I have them just in one case. So I know when I pull this out, this is all my dual tip, dual tip pens right here. Don't try to say that too fast. <laughs> It doesn't work well. <laughs> all right. And then my next one has all my dot tip pens. Um, and I I have I love the dot tip pens. I've gotten quite a collection of these. Um, unfortunately, there aren't many out there, but um, I think I still have gold and silver in stock. Maybe a couple colors here or there. I'd have to look, but um Anyway, it holds, you can see, I don't know, I might have about 20 of these in here. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I have 10 on the bottom, so there's probably 10 on the top. So you're looking at about 20 of these pens. I don't think I could get any more than that in here. So, um, but, but that's a great item just in itself. Now, something else I do is, I have a container for my micro tip pens, and I also keep makeup sponges in this because I like to use those with my dot tip pens. Um, I can do some, I don't know, a little artsy stuff with a little bit of water and a dot tip pen. Sometimes I don't even think I need water. I just color the sponge with the pen and then I just kind of dab it on where I want it. Um, I'll try to do a video on that someday because that's kind of a fun little technique to try. And then I also, all those little nitpicky things. So in this one here, I have my micro tip scissors, a pair of tweezers, my, um, my liquid adhesive, my multi-purpose tool, and my bone folder from the um, bow creator, bow and envelope creator, okay? So I keep all of that in here and now I know exactly where to find it when I need it, right? And then the last thing I have, <clears throat> excuse me, are my um, peekaboo pockets and memorabilia um, pockets. So, and we have a lot of different sizes of the peekaboos now. I don't have them all in here just yet. Um, but this is a great way to keep them organized. And I'm thinking now I might do one for each different size that I have. I'm not sure yet, but I'm definitely going to play around with this and see what I can do with it. But I put it all in here, right? This is where the magic happens now. Now, I don't leave the box like this and I don't close the cover. What I do is I leave the cover open and I leave it on its side like so. And you can't see this, but I turn it like this and I just have to get under my microphone here, so hold on. But it sits like 
this, but further back out of the camera view. And now I can just go and pull out whatever it is I need. So I need my dot tip pens. So I'm just gonna go to my little container here and pull out my case of pens. Or I need my foam squares. I'm always pulling those out. You'll see that me do that quite frequently. <laughs> um, but whatever you need, you just pull it out and it's right there, easily accessible, and you're not going to lose it and you're not going to create any more mess on your surface. So those are my two big favorites right now. Let me come back up to me. Hold on one sec. Here we go. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to share those with you tonight because I had to do something short because I know my husband's on his way home and where it's Father's Day, I wanna spend that time with him and the boys. So I am uh, next week, I am going to let you all know what the contest will be um, now that I've made it to over a thousand subscribers. I'd like to do a little payback to all of you who have been following along and uh, we'll have a little contest and we'll give some prizes out. How fun will that be? So the prizes won't be given out next week because you're going to need some time to kind of do some things to earn them a little bit <laughs> but I hope you'll enjoy it and have some fun with it so I'm coming up with some ideas so stay tuned hopefully I will have this all nailed down next week I wanted to do this sooner but I have to be honest my day job has been very very busy um, but it is finally uh, coming to a point where I can breathe again and <laughs> it's so nice <laughs> Um, so with that being said, I will hopefully have all the details for what we're going to do for a contest next week, and I will also um, be bringing you another new technique. Very exciting! <laughs> so I'm glad you all could join me for a few minutes this evening, and again, I wish everybody Happy Father's Day to all those dads out there, and um if you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch with me at Bitsy's Fabulous Scrapbooks at gmail.com. And if you're looking to join our Facebook group, you are more than welcome to. All we ask is that you answer the three questions and accept the rules. And once you've done that, you'll be approved to join. It's that simple. <laughs> If you are waiting for approval and you haven't been approved and it's been a few days, um, go back and make sure that you've answered the questions. Usually that's why we haven't um, approved you. And the reason we do that is we just want to make sure that we're keeping our group authentic um, and not letting scammers or any kind of bots into the group. So we we are trying hard to keep all of us um happy and private in our group. <laughs> so like I said, if you haven't been accepted yet, please go and make sure that you have answered the questions and um, agreed to the rules. And then we will approve you right away. All right. So I want to thank you all again for watching. I look forward to sharing a new technique with you next week. I hope you found the organizational part of this today very helpful. And maybe it'll inspire you to come up with some other ideas for organizing. This is just a few things you can do with these products, but you may even know more things or have seen other things. So feel free to share in the comments and let me know what you think um, about these tips as well in the comments. I love the comments and I hope if you like this video, you will like it. And if you aren't already a subscriber, please subscribe and you'll be alerted to my videos when I put them out. And I do put them out every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time and sometimes on Wednesdays. It just depends on how my work week goes. <laughs> Lately, it hasn't been too good, but we'll see if we can get back into that Wednesday groove too. Um, and my Wednesday videos, I like to just highlight new products. I don't typically do a technique on that one, 
but who knows if I'm feeling like I might want to do a technique, I may just do that. You never know. I like to keep you guessing. <laughs> All right. So have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Thanks for watching and bye for now.